Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to record and produce a full 1080p HD video in Camtasia Studio. But before I begin, I'd just like to say thank you to iDevice Assassin for making this great wallpaper for me. I actually won his giveaway a while back and this was my prize. I like it very much, so thanks to iDevice Assassin. His YouTube channel is in the description box below if you're interested. If you like his videos, please feel free to subscribe to his channel. I'm going to start by showing you how to optimize the settings of the screen recorder. So I'm going to click record the screen to get that window up. I'm then going to go to tools followed by options. I personally keep all of the general settings on default. Feel free to go down and see if there's any you'd like to change. Once you've done that, go to the inputs tab and then in this box you can drop it down and select 1 to 30 but you can also type in your own value I like to put 60 here, 60 frames per second once you've done that click video settings followed by configure and make sure that this slider is right up to the top of better compression once you've done that click OK and then OK again finally click audio settings drop down the box next to attributes scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you can either choose the 48,016 bit mono or the 48,016 bit stereo if you're just speaking you can probably get away with mono to reduce the file size or if you're not bothered about the file size then you can choose stereo for the very best sound once you've done that click OK and then feel free to change any of the settings in the hotkeys and program tab to suit your preferences once again I do keep these on default once you've done that click the OK button and that's the screen recorder optimized next I'm going to show you how to optimize the settings in the Camtasia video editor itself and there's one personal preference that I like to change first and that's under tools followed by options and that is changing the default transition time down to 1.5 it's a personal preference but I think 3 seconds is far too long for a transition so once again you can play on any of these settings for your own preference but that's the only one that I actually change once you're finished click OK and that bit's done now the most important bit is next and that's when you're producing it otherwise known as rendering to do that you have to have some sort of video on the timeline if you haven't got one spare just go to the library digital radius for instance and drag in an animation such as this one and once you've got a video on the timeline you can then click produce and share at the top then drop down this box here and click add slash edit preset then click the new button give the preset a name I'm going to call it WMV 1080p and then put a dot in the radio button next to WMV Windows Media Video then click the next button the default is fine for this next again and type in your custom size for the video that should be the same size that you've got listed up here the one that you chose for your project or in other words the resolution of the videos that you're actually using in the editor for me I am using full HD so I'm going to put in 1920 by 1080 because that's the full HD resolution as you can see up here once you've done that click next optionally you could include a watermark by putting a tick in the checkbox there clicking options choosing the position and choosing the image I'm not going to have one of those once you've done that click finish and that is the first preset done now on a Windows machine that is the preset that I'm more inclined to use because the file size is quite small which is perfect for YouTube however if you're on a Mac you may be more inclined to use the MOV preset which is slightly higher quality but also a larger file size to make this preset click new and I'm going to call it MOV 1080p this time put a dot in the radio button next to MOV QuickTime Movie and then click the next button now before continuing here it's worth your while checking that your QuickTime is indeed up to date so that it does render properly to do that just go to the start menu start typing in QuickTime presuming you've got it installed open the QuickTime player 
go to help at the top followed by update existing software and it will then check for updates as you can see it's now told me your QuickTime software is up to date so I'm fine OK and close QuickTime again so we can now continue optimizing these settings click the QuickTime options button and then under the video subheading click the settings button for the very best quality if you're not worried about file size you can drag this up to best and the encoding to best quality multipass you then click OK you then need to click the size button just here drop down the dimensions box and then choose the correct resolution here so once again it's got to be the same as the one you chose earlier and the one up here so I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 HD then click OK and then click the settings button under the sound subheading click this arrow beside the rate box and drag that down to 48 if you're using stereo make sure to change use to stereo and then click OK this can be kept the same if you're uploading to YouTube as it will help the video to start more quickly then click OK next and once again we've got to type in our resolution here the same as what you chose before next button and once again the watermark feature works the same once you've done that click finish and you've now got two presets the WMV 1080p and the MOV 1080p so as I said my preference is the WMV 1080p but the MOV is also a liable option so that's how to optimize the settings in the Camtasia Studio recorder and editor I hope you found my video useful and thanks for watching